Hi, I'm Michael Ordonia of the Los Angeles Times here at our San Diego Comic-Con photo and video studio. Now we have the cast and producers of What We Do in the Shadows, which is awesome. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Nice to have you all here. Um, I guess I should try to introduce you all. Uh, starting left, right, we have, oh, you can introduce yourselves. Oh, that's easier. Paul Sims, I'm a producer. Mark Prooks, I am an actor. Harvey Gian, I am a model. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie Robinson, producer. I'm uh, Matt Barry. <laughs> now I'm Natasha Dimitri. <laughs> Oh, uh, Kay Van Novak, actor and uh, exec producer, actually. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't told the rest of the cast no, about that yet, yeah. but... Matt Berry. <laughs> That's all we need to say. Uh, I'm so glad you pronounced your name, because I was going to totally fumble that. Um, okay, uh, your, your show is excellent. Uh, i got to tell you, in, in my job, I have to watch a lot of shows from start to finish, and sometimes it's a, it's a trial, but in your case, it was... It was a pleasure. Um, tough to follow up on a movie with a, a following like that, but you did it. Um, Thank you. And one of my favorite things about your show is that it lets the vampires just be vampires. You're not cute. You're not like the monster, uh, the monsters. You uh, horribly, savagely kill people. You hear that, guys? You're not cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm pretty cute. I'm pretty cute. Well, okay. I okay. like the monsters. Uh, <laughs> not just not just cute. You you other guys are horrible. Yeah. Um, so, uh, do you enjoy the uh, horrible, terrible violence of the show? Yeah, big time. <laughs> big time. <laughs> I yeah. didn't really get to kill anyone, really, on camera, huh? which I was a little disappointed about. So, it's being addressed for season two. Oh, good. Yeah. good. Because you're ex an exec now. I'm an so exec you, now, so, so you can I, do I can make those kind of calls. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but I like it when you guys. You killed someone on killed camera, people. didn't you? No, you came no. up close to the guy. Yeah, and then, and then just I didn't, didn't have the heart to yeah, do it. You out. killed the elderly woman. You're yeah, but not intentionally though. Right. But and he did. He was involved in a hit and run off camera. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you, you threw a toy off a, a building and let a werewolf chase it. That's, That's true. Right. That yeah. is true. You killed didn't him. Didn't kill him. He, he was survived. Still alive. Yeah, he lived. Yeah. He survived. Yeah. So I guess that doesn't count. Um, what do you guys have a favorite death on the show so far? I mean, I'd nominate Jeff uh, Jeff Gregor as. Oh, that was pretty Most good, wasn't it? I think that's my favorite one. That was awesome. Which is that? When he lost his head at the end when we, you put the garden wire up. He hasn't up. seen it. <laughs> oh, no, but I do it remember was quite, We it. filmed quite near the end and we were all like, we were, we were losing our minds. But yeah, no, that was... Yeah, but there was nothing in the helmet from what I remember. No, they built... They, they, built, they put like a big head in there. head in it. Did they? Yeah, yeah. And we, we were, had to look at it. That was the best. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much anything they would have said. Yeah. That was the best. The one where your character died, that was the best. Yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> Paul and Stefani, um, you had that the challenge of, of <laughs> Stephanie. Stephanie, I'm sorry. Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie is very well, you are it's a classy name. You are supposed to sing. I, I am supposed to sing. Yeah. So, you, please Don't sing this answer. Don't speak. I know this what you saying. Fine. Great. Uh, so you had the the challenge of adapting from the the movie to the show. Of course, yeah. you had the help of uh, another guy. Um, so what were the leaps you had to make? How, how did you feel you had to adjust it to make it work over the, the length of the season? Well, you obviously have to make sure that the, the tone is there, obviously, because it is a very specific sense of humor that is both dry, but silly, but intelligent, I think. And then you, you also want to preserve the gore and how, the, you know, it, it is a, a horror movie, <laughs> you know, <laughs> in, in a certain respect. So I think that part... Um, it was it was actually a lot less challenging than I thought it would be, and luckily Jermaine was around to sort of set the tone. But I think everyone, writers included, did such a great job um, adapting to you know what was already sort of established. But I think you know we did a lot of work in really just stretching out the world because you know it's ten episodes versus you know sixty minute movie or however long the movie is. I don't know how long is the movie. <laughs> Four hours. It felt like four hours. <laughs> yeah. 83 minutes. No no comment? Who, me? Yeah. Um, no, I, I, my biggest trepidation, just having known Jermaine for a long time, was after seeing the movie when he said, uh, we're thinking about making a TV show out of it, but that he and Taika weren't going to be in it. And mm -hmm. I was like, I, oh, boy. Mm -hmm. And then when we got this cast, then it got very exciting for me. 
because uh, they're super funny. Well, speaking of which, um, did you Thanks. guys have much input into the development of your characters? I think that I'm, I, I remembered like way back when, when I auditioned for the part, I read the character and was like, oh my God, sh that's such a funny character. I would love to play it. So I do think that it was all there, mm -hmm. but then we were definitely like supported to like, if we thought that, if I thought that I would say something or do something a bit madder, then that was all very supported. But yeah, the characters were very, so well written to start with, I think. But I will say, I will, I will give them credit as a writer, producer, and someone on the other side of things that I, I think at this point too, they've done such a good job of creating these characters individually that I think that I can't imagine anyone else playing these parts. And I think that's just more of a testament to how great and specific and funny they all are. So maybe they, maybe you all grew into them instead of... I feel, no, I feel like they created them themselves. I mean, the, the writing was there, but I think most of these auditions, a lot of it was uh, just saying imp improvise and ad lib mm -hmm. as you would do the character. I remember Na uh, Natasha telling a long story as her character about how she was the woman who sang the snakes to sleep at night on <laughs> in the little village she lived in, which later went into the show. And there's tons of, in the actual show, there's tons of improv that goes into the whole thing, and no one is, no one's ever really, no one's off. There's, there's never a time as a writer that we go like, oh, that's not what the character is. I think they create the characters, and you know, we write the words, and and they contribute the words, and this is the worst it felt, answer. No, it does, it feels very collaborative. It does feel like <laughs> suit, like very lucky. You don't usually that. Uh, you know, there's, it's not often that you get a show like this. So yeah, I, I remember yeah. going to Stephanie and saying, what's Guillermo's last name? And we hadn't thought about it, right? And I said, can it be de la Cruz? And she said, yeah. And I think she wasn't telling me it was foreshadowing because de la Cruz means of the cross. Uh -huh. So Guillermo of the cross and what we found out in his DNA. So this whole like thing. Uh, so yeah, I think it's a collaboration. <laughs> no, that's totally. For, that's fortuitous. Do you guys have uh, favorite improv moments yet of each other's? I do. Yeah. Well, Michael there's a Connor. show in the UK called Only Fools and Horses. Yeah, I was about to say, this is my Which <laughs> is uh, a favourite of mine and uh, <laughs> Natasha's. And there was a bit where, I can't remember his... Jake. Where he, uh, he had this uh, sort of donkey jacket, fur jacket. It's very much like this character Del Boy wears in Only Fools and Horses. Mm -hmm. And I said, thinking there's no way this is going to end up in the thing because it won't make any sense to anyone else apart from us two, really. And I said, well, what about Del Boy there? And, uh, and it's in there. <laughs> and I like I, and yeah. the, the pleasure of that is just a whole country is going, what the hell is <laughs> Del Boy? So it's worth it for that. For and two, England, two people laughing. tweeted saying, did I just hear Matt Berry make a reference <laughs> to Only Fools and Horses and what we're doing? And that was magic. That was definitely my highlight. Yeah, like I said, all my improv got cut out, so no yeah. comment. <laughs> but you're an exec. Couldn't you just say, hey, you got to keep everything? Well, I am now because I'm going to make sure that never happens again. <laughs> <laughs> so season two is like... 20 minutes of you talking. Each episode's 43 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> there was actually a scene where Matt and I... Uh, oh, yeah. I, the Baron just died, and um, Matt and I both came up with lines to kind of end the scene. But you know, only better use one of them. And yeah, otherwise, why would you have two blows at the end of the scene? Mm -hmm. And uh, so Matt and I were jokingly waiting to see which one, if it was his or mine, that got in, uh, in the final cut, and turned out neither of us. Uh, <laughs> but you remember yours, right? So he falls down, and then I said, well, that was the name of that tune. <laughs> and then you And then said, I say, I guess we're not going to go for a pizza pie anytime soon. <laughs> which are both fantastic. <laughs> both cut. <laughs> so. I think every character should have had, like, a button line to that moment. Yeah. And they each should have done it. Would be like but murder. then they were trying to outdo each other, so every time Mark would try and say his one, Matt would cough really loudly, and then we'd have to do it again. <laughs> That's an old theatre trick. <laughs> Out of like the murder on the Orient Express <laughs> version where everyone gets to, yeah. to have a line. Harvey? 
Um, I think for me, uh, in the pilot, I remember I didn't mean to roll my eyes when we were talking about Twilight. <laughs> my my <laughs> eye got like lazy and it made it into the cut and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> is that what I look like? Um, body improv. Yeah, it was body improv and I didn't, it just happened and it made it into the cut. So I was like, oh, there it is forever. It'll live. Well, is that improv or is that just a natural human reaction to Twilight? <laughs> Um, I think it was Guillermo's reaction <laughs> to Twilight. You love Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> I love Twilight. <laughs> I actually do love Twilight. Of everyone, everyone about my loves. Um, <laughs> what I love is my personal business. Um. <laughs> uh, producers, you have favorite moments of theirs? There's tons of them, but the, the, I really found that uh, when we get into the editing room, I can't remember what's improv and what's what, what we wrote, which... Mm -hmm. um, which I love, but uh, and so we just look at whatever's funny. I can I can think of funny. I thought when uh, Guillermo found out that Beanie was a vampire and was screaming into the pillow, I thought that was very funny. <laughs> I thought when Mark ad libbed the long in the pilot the long thing about um, getting your car detailed oh my and God, their, yeah, that was their so insurance. Funny. I remember. Uh, uh, Matt's line about um, what was it? There was something in the when they were with the Baron at the at the variety store, and he called him a. No, oh, now I'm not going to remember. It. Matt is a wax banana. Matt is a wax banana. <laughs> yes, that one I loved. Um, Any mine? <laughs> um, <laughs> they all got and, cut. And really, that's it. I mean, <laughs> Natasha had so many. I don't know how to name it, but that's it. Never that's again. All I can remember. Never again. <laughs> Yeah, Never no, I again. agree. I think everyone each has a really fun individual <laughs> moments throughout the show, and it is one of those hard things that you, you don't even remember what was written or what's not, and that's, I think... I do. Okay, <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> everyone's great and fun, but I think it's, I think Mark's... Mark has a lot of free reign because he has to bore people constantly, and I, I, I think you do such a good job of <laughs> uh, doing that. Yeah. No, 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 but it, I think it's really up to Mark as an actor and as a performer to come up with these really long-winded... Detail oh specific. God, yeah. <laughs> he finds it anything. easy. Anything. It's really funny. There was, uh, it was so much of Mark stuff. Just, just like, how does a human being know this? What much was the name of the aftershave that you came up with that Colin wears? Mr. Hijinks. Yeah, Hijinks. <laughs> <laughs> and what were you at? What po at one point? <laughs> was there like some Kelsey Grammery like? Yeah. Oh, oh no, yeah. that was that was when he fell off the stage and the video of Kelsey and hurt himself. The but there's scene. a line he Matt says just before he, he says, "I was uh, well, pretending I was an interpreter. Interpreter, you an interpreter for the UN. And, uh, It's a small, small world." world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, good, good oh, lord! They, they um, started a scene saying, oh. quoting exactly what Kelsey. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> so it was like the, the you know the direction was just start off like you've been having a conversation. So that was how Matt and I went back and forth. And that was another thing that I don't think made it, did it? Um, I don't think it I did. I don't think it did. There you go. We'll it was bring fun. It back. It was, the editing room was the best place to be because you get to see everything. I also remember two more. One was, was all through the episode where uh, Nadja is teaching Beanie how to be a vampire, the way Natasha kept adding things that were in her vampire mind were affectionate but sounded very weird like oh you sweet stupid little baby I love you. <laughs> oh you big dumb little baby. And um, what was the cave on one I had? <laughs> don't, 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 don't pretend. Don't, don't <laughs> now coming up empty again. <laughs> right, I guess. Uh. Ever again. <laughs> I know we're joking, but uh, Kayvon does have a lot. <laughs> of yeah, yeah. He's a lot. <laughs> and uh, it often makes us uh, break when we're uh, shooting. So well, you guys are way too professional to ever break mm -hmm. in. More largely improv show. Yeah, I am, but these guys are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, you got season two coming up. What can you tell us about season two without spoiling terrible things like, should we all be afraid of Guillermo now? Uh, that's definitely an aspect of it. I think, uh, I think it opens up the world a little bit more in, in the same way that we didn't know that in our regular world vampires existed and walked silently among us. I think you're going to see other dimensions of things that exist just beneath the surface in the real world. Um, and hey man i don't know we haven't written it yet yeah we're, just, we're say, still we're, trying to figure it out that's, that's new to me i'm like oh is my character still in it i don't know <laughs> yeah they, they shot no. the whole thing yeah. Yeah. uh okay you guys are at comic-con have you been able to experience much of comic-con we're doing it right now yeah. with you this, this, this is, is it, it. This yeah is and i don't know what it, everyone's so excited about comic-con it's just sitting here talking Com to a fellow this is not, not enough no, an experience good. for you <laughs> 
No, I think I, late, I'm I, feeling I, you the, now. Bob passes for this. The yeah. most exciting thing I, I'm looking, and I hope I'm not disappointed, is I feel like it's exciting when you see actually see a regular person who likes the, likes the show so much that they've dressed up as a vampire, one of yeah. the characters. Mm-hmm. And I've been looking so far, and I've seen a lot of Marvel people, but um, <laughs> but yeah. hopefully we'll see such a hardcore fan that they're dressed up. Why don't yeah, you just put some Marvel cool. characters in your show and? I think we can now t- legally because we're all owned by the same people, so we will do right. that. Yeah. yeah, they do own everything. Uh, so is that the? Uh, are there any other awesome Comic Con moments you guys? Well, I, I thought I saw an Andor guy, and he, he's just a homeless guy. So. <laughs> <laughs> His ad libs were really funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're going to be in the show. All right, last thing: if you were forced to cosplay, who would you cosplay? Oh, that's a good one. When you dress for up. Anyone or from our cast? <laughs> <laughs> anyone, but from your cast if you must. Anyone from the Disney. I would go as all of the X-Men. I'd just like, put At some once? holes in my, in my sleeves. And it would, I'd just be all of them because I couldn't choose. Or maybe Wolverine. Maybe Wolverine, Wolverine. actually, yeah. The Elephant Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with, with bag or, or not, not with bag? With bag, obviously, because I don't <laughs> want to put the thing on. With bag. Well, so course. the only bit of costume would be my hand, bag, and with cap. Yes. What's the elephant man's hand look like? Regular. It looks Man. regular? Twice, no, there's one that is completely normal, yeah. one that is twice the size of the other. Oh, I was thinking of the regular one. I've got a new one. Sorry, I'd go as Gypsy Rose Blanchard and Dee Dee Blanchard. Oh. Both oh. together? Yeah. Maybe like... I could make the wheelchair and have Dee Dee in the back attached to it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would, would be, be worth amazing. seeing. Um, Indiana Jones, or is that? Nope. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, Who's Indiana Jones? Um, Boba Fett. <laughs> Boba Fett? Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Yeah, that that would be worth seeing, yeah. yeah. Wow, I don't know. Someone else started. I've got so many I'd probably going go run. as... Um, Dirk Diggler. Bailey. <laughs> 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 as uh, Bailey the bed bug. Um, it's uh, Scott Salem. Um... He's working on this show right now. Um, <laughs> called Are you Billy doing the your character? That, I, <laughs> that I'm, I'm, I'm really into this, uh, into what he's working on. It sounds cool. <laughs> I just dress up as Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Oh, that's nice. Heaven. That would be very popular. The, the new one or the old one? Um, the, the new one? What are you talking about? It hasn't been made yet. <laughs> Any, anything to add? I don't know. Like Darth Maul, probably. He oh, was I cool, think right? Darth Maul was awesome. He was like the only good thing about that. That's what I'm saying. We'd all go as Tyka, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> That's Tyka. Yeah, yeah. we'd just come as a big pack of Tykas. Yeah. <clears throat> Anything else? I think probably just to amuse my son, either uh, Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, Peter Chris, or Ace Frehley from the original lineup of Kiss. You could like do... <laughs> and if I had to choose show. one of them, the I, drama, I think it would be Paul Stanley. Oh, right. Yeah, get, people, yeah, I, I don't want to be the cat, man. It gets the most girl attention, so... Uh, course, uh, yeah... That's true. Cold right. gin. Yeah. Oh, Cold gin. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank the show you. is awesome. Looking Thanks. forward to seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.